Hi and welcome to PCM Norway Productions coverage of the Vuelta a España. Today the stage goes from Noja to Bilbao. The stage is 159 kilometers long and it has uh, four categorized climbs and two intermediate sprints. We will be over Alto El Vivero twice. Uh, the mountain is outside Bilbao and we will do two laps around the city of Bilbao. And on the first intermediate sprint in Colindres, it was um, Paul Martins from Rabobank in front of Seldrius and Paulinho from Quickstep and Katusha who captured 4, 2 and 1 point. Then it was time for Puerto de la Granja and uh, it was Silva Chavanel in front of Tevolder, Volgonov and Lusada who captured points. Chavanel being the only one out in the breakaway today and he had at most 6 minutes and 45 seconds down to the peloton. Then it was time for Puerto de las Muñenas and uh, Silva Chavanel once again being the only one in front of the peloton capturing 10 points. Pablo Lastras, De Volder, Vogonov, uh, Machi Bush and Belotti was the riders capturing the remaining of the points. Then came the first intermediate sprint in Bilbao and Chavanel in front of Verdugo and uh, Oros. And uh, the first time up Alto El Vivero, Silva Chavanel captured 10 points there. So uh, now it's time to end our recap footage and tune in live on today's stage of the Vuelta from Noja to Bilbao. 159 kilometers of pure cycling. Hang with us. Hi and welcome back! Silva Chavanel is 30 kilometers away from the finish line and the peloton is 4 minutes and 15 seconds behind. So uh, we spoke to Jim Jones uh, on yesterday's stage and he uh, made a tip for uh, Joaquin Rodriguez and it came true. So uh, let's uh, check in with Jim today as well and hear his thoughts about uh, the 19th stage of this year's Vuelta. So uh, we got Jim with us today just like yesterday where he um, hit the nail right on the head with uh, Rodriguez as his uh, tips for the stage and it went through. So uh, Jim, stage 19, Noja to Bilbao, 156, oh, excuse me, 159 kilometers long, your take on, uh, on this stage. Uh, yet again I think it'll be a, a breakaway and this, uh, this might be a, actually be a day for the breakaway riders. Um, to maybe get the stage win, but I think the stage is too short, though, to be uh, to be won by a breakaway. But it it, it could be a day for for the breakaway riders. Um, among the favorites, I think it'll be a duel there up the when they hit the uh, Alto El Vivero the last time. Um, I think uh, we will see uh, Igor Anton up there, Rodriguez and uh, Nibali, and he's a really good descender. So maybe an attack from him uh, him in the downhill section and. Uh, Go for a solo win and uh, extend this lead for uh, for the uh, for the general classification. Yeah, so uh, we just have to wait and see. Uh, not so many kilometers left. So uh, once again, Jim, thank you very much, and we will hear more from you uh, out throughout uh, these uh, last days of the Vuelta. So uh, see you tomorrow, Jim. So uh, that was Mr. Jim Jones and his. Uh, predictions for today's stage he uh, was kind of lucky I would say as being his co-commentator and everything that he uh, made a bet for Joaquin Rodriguez yesterday he um, came through 100% and today he's got a gut feeling about uh, Vincenzo Nibali from Liquid Gas the race leader being uh, the good descender and everything and uh, Joaquin Rodriguez uh, might go as well today being uh, much better uh, upwards than downwards so maybe he can do some shenanigans but he's, it doesn't look like he's being um, with the best group here as Bradley Wiggins, Sigur Anton, Vincenzo Nibali and Scarponi are attacking from the first group these are the four, first four guys that makes some shenanigans on this stage uh, after Silva Chavanel and uh, they are getting a big gap now uh, Michele Scarponi not able to close the gap up to Igor Anton there and Nibali going away from Bradley Wiggins and Igor Anton so Silva Chavanel the first man over Alto El Vivero for the last time on today's stage and Nibali behind him then Wiggins Anton Scarponi and I think it was Rodriguez uh, 
coming up to that group. So uh, 10 points still Shiva Chavanel and uh, he's in no danger of overtaking his teammate Dario Cadalto in uh, that classification. So uh, here we have him, uh, the one and only rider <laughs> out in the front of the peloton. Uh, Silva Chavanel, the Frenchman. I don't think he got 5 kilometers to go right yet, but at least uh, 1 minute 30 seconds down to the peloton for uh, Silva Chavanel. He was in a breakaway yesterday as well. Not having any luck so far in this Vuelta with the stage win and everything. Uh, without the stage win and everything. And uh, now it's about four kilometers to go for the Frenchman. He's been alone the entire stage and throughout the entire day. It could pull through. It will be heartbreaking for him if they catch him right on the line, which is coming down. What, which is what it comes down to right at this moment. It's uh, been going very slow for him in the last few kilometers. He must be empty being on the, in a breakaway yesterday as well. But uh, here we are, we are getting close to the sprint, to the finish. It's a select group sprint from the peloton and Sylvain Chavanel is out in front. We can see that they are catching up to him for every meter as Vincenzo Nibali and Rodriguez is making their move. And there I got Sylvain Chavanel, the Frenchman, is caught and it's going to be Vincenzo Nibali in front of Joaquin Rodriguez, I think it was, then Igor Anton, Luis Leon Sanchez and Heinrich Schausler yet again being with the best of the best climbers uh, in a tough stage like this but unable to uh, come through in the sprints which, uh, which is uh, kind of heartbreaking for for him but um, Vincenzo Nibali winner of the 19th stage from Noha to Bilbao 159 kilometers where the Frenchman uh, Silva Chavanel was out in a breakaway the entire day and being caught 100 meters before the before the finishing line must be a mental uh, breakdown. <laughs> he must have a mental breakdown before he goes to bed tonight. Either way, Vincenzo Nibali is still in the red jersey as uh, Igor Anton is also still in the points jersey. Dario Cadalto is still in the King of the Mountain jersey. Rain Terror May keeps his youth classification jersey and Geox is still the best team. So uh, if you like this 19th stage from Noha to Bilbao, I recommend that you tune back in on tomorrow's stage, the 20th stage of the Vuelta. We only got two days left of racing in Spain, so uh, be sure to catch that. And if you like this, uh, if you like this stage, I recommend you press that like button and also the favorite button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, do so. So my name was Dick Anderson on behalf of PCM Norway Productions. Adios.